this video, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of fair end dressing with power tools, which you will be doing um, quickly and uh, more cheaply compared to the traditional way. People usually do these kind of things with the files. And uh, that kind of special files are quite expensive. And doing this kind of work would require a lot of time and uh, a lot of tedious work. At the beginning, to use power tools, we need to do some protection temporary sheet metal. It requires uh, some uh, very thin aluminum sheet. And uh, the easy way to get it is from the uh, tin cans. The most easy way I found to get uh, aluminum sheet is from this kind of a uh, small fish tin. And you can just dip up the dip, and it's, it's a rectangle aluminum sheet. Or otherwise, you can just cut off from a soda can. After you get a piece of aluminum sheet, I will cut it out, use this kind of wire cutter. All the tools I suggest you here is a very common tools. First, you cut an aluminum sheet into a rectangle. Then you cut a slot in the middle which is uh, the width of the feet. The main tool we use here is uh, this kind of uh, rotary mini grinder. But don't use this, this kind with uh, the tooling heads directly attached to the grinder because uh, it's where uh, vibrating and uh, shaking when you're using this. So you cannot do a very uh, delicate work. I recommend, I, and what I use is uh, this kind. It have a extension, soft extension cord to the rotary, and it's very lightweight on the end of it. And you can hold it like this, or even hold it like a pen. First, by uh, bending the aluminum sheet like this, and wrap it around the fair edge. Then turn the rotary in a low speed and gently left and right to uh, grind away on the edge of the fair end. The movement is just like a uh, left and right, right, right over a small bump. I'm just sitting at a grinding angle to round the end edge of the fair. Here is a close-up of uh, another angle. You can see how I grind it by a left and right movement. Use the gentle force, not too fast. When you're nearly done, the protecting sheet metal will get in the way. You can uh, remove the protecting uh, sheet metal and use uh, more gentle force to uh, final touches to make a more smooth uh, on the edge. My experience is uh, if you use the gentle force to apply the power tool, the fat will not heat up too much. Especially if you like what we're doing here is uh, apply the power tool and uh, move away and uh, apply the power tool and move away. This way the heat will now build up. Also you can use your left hand to feel the temperature and check the temperature. Just be careful.
when you're protecting a ruminant sheet metal wear out, just cut it short and uh, cut the slot again and repeat the process. On the final stage, you can uh, do the final touch without the uh, protecting sheet metal. Just using the tip of the rotary stone tool and gently grinding away on the tip of the flat end. Don't worry, it will now cut through the masking tape if you apply the force gently on it. Then make a final touch on the very smooth flat end. As you can see from the closer lens, after the stone rotary tool, the surface still have a little bit rough on the flat end. So on the next stage, we were using the sandpaper to further policies. By using the 400 grit wet metal sandpaper here, just cut out a little triangle piece and uh, attach it on the rubber end of the rotary tool with the masking tape. Then polish the flat end like the movement we do before. The sandpaper will wear out around 4 or 6 feet. Then you just uh, tear off the top of the sandpaper and do it again. When the sandpaper wear out more, then you just replace another sandpaper. On the final stage of the polishing, I'm gonna use the metal polishing compound. And uh, usually people also using the rotary tool with the soft polishing pen. But you can see from here, it's very slowly. The small tool of the rotary using the polishing pad is a better use for the small area of the curved surface. But on the guitar neck fair, it's actually can using very linear movement. So I prefer using the angle grinder. It's much more powerful. But you may already guess or you wonder, polishing compound on the angle grinder can be fine everywhere, like use the angle grinder on the metal. So there's some percussion to make. After wiping the polishing compound on the fiber wheel of the angle grinder, first I will put the angle grinder inside a trash can to turn it on first. When you first rotating very fast, the polishing compound were flying inside the trash can rather than flying everywhere. So after it's turning for a few seconds, there will be no more the polish compound flying off the polish wheel. But when you use it on the neck, it still have some debris flying off the polishing wheel. So you need to also put some more pressure on your body, especially on your waist. I just cut out a garbage bag so you can have a large piece of uh, plastic sheet wrapping on your body protecting from the polishing compound flying out. Now you can, like this video here, polishing the fat one by one. As the angle grinder turning very fast, it's very powerful, you can finish the uh, polishing work very quickly. And just like what I'm doing here, you can using the angle grinder to polish the flat one by one very quickly because the angle grinder is very powerful and turning very fast. You can finish the job very quickly. At the end, I just cleaning the fat ball by uh, wet towel, maybe with some uh, alcohol if necessary, to wet it clean. <laughs>
on maple necks with maple fretboards. The entire neck is finished, including the fretboard, frets, and inlays. We do not remove the finish from the frets. This work is left to the end user as part of the setup, assembly, and fret leveling process. So I show you the work I done here. One have uh, a day layer fret and dressing to a thirty degree bevel edge, which is bigger than what I show you here. So if you need to leave more room for your dressing, you need to ask them to leave the fret and square. More information you can uh, look up on their website, like what I show you here.